Forget the ranch packets. Full flavored, thick and creamy dill dip is where it's at. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to whip up this cinch of a dip, and then we're gonna plate it on a gorgeous veggie platter with one little extra. So the recipe is gonna start with one and a half cup of sour cream. To that, we're gonna add a quarter cup of mayonnaise. The mayonnaise is just going to mellow out that acidity from the sour cream, and we're gonna have all kinds of nice creamy vibes going on in here. The first thing we're gonna add in is going to be a little bit of minced shallot. Now, if you don't wanna take the time to mince a shallot, you can use a half teaspoon of onion powder in its place. Just gonna give it a really good mince here. Shallots are in the onion family. They have a little bit of like a garlicky note to them and they are really, really delicious in dill dip. So this is right about two tablespoons going into that mayo sour cream mix. Now I'm working with a little bundle of parsley leaves. This really is optional. So if you are in a huge hurry and you just don't have time to be chopping stuff, you can just leave the parsley out as well. And then we're just gonna give this one little rough chop. You only need about a tablespoon. Looking good and into the bowl. Fresh dill has a tendency to go bad pretty fast. Dried dill, on the other hand, not so much. So that's the reason when I was developing this recipe that I chose to go with dry dill instead. However, if you wanna use the fresh stuff, you can go ahead and add in one tablespoon. We used only one and a half teaspoon of dried dill in here. Now we're gonna add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Again, if you've got a fresh is best mentality, you could sub in one clove of fresh garlic. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt, and we're gonna bring in a little bit of heat with some cayenne pepper. Just give it all a stir, and that's your dill dip. Now here is another great thing about this dill dip. You can serve it with an onslaught of veggies or my personal favorite, potato chips. So for my platter, I'm gonna do a combination of both for my healthy eaters and for the unhealthy eaters like this gal. And now we're gonna start building up our ingredients all around this little bowl. And now I'm gonna break all the rules and I'm gonna put potato chips on the same platter as the veggies. Which one do you think is gonna go first? And if you happen to have fresh dill, you could lay a little bit of a dill garnish right across the top. And this is one beautiful party platter. If y'all are looking for another dip to add to your party lineup, be sure to check out our marshmallow cream cheese fruit dip next. We assembled it on a beautiful fruit platter and it's perfect for any gathering.